What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and I'm just gonna go right into it because there's something crazy happening right now. They're showing off the brand new TCG ban list live here at YCS Anaheim. So I want to do a live react. Now first thing I'm going to do though, real quick, is I'm gonna put my face cam over here so you guys can get a good look. Um, I don't want to get uh, demonetized or whatever so I'm not going to... Oh you know what? Let's play. We'll talk over it. Let's see, let's see how good. Let's see how good. Allegedly. Allegedly. Well, so there's a band list in this, so okay? Badly, you're gonna so, help me with this. we're gonna react to this live. What do we feel about that, YCS Anaheim? Yeah? I'm literally watching it with you guys, first time. All right. There is a band list. I don't know if they're gonna announce this. This is the first time they've ever done this, where they're announcing the band list right after a YCS. I wanna give a big shout out while they're doing this. Starting to Steven. Oh, oh, oh. Dragon Ruler of Infernus. Blasters at three. Dino Wrestler, Pankratops. Pankratops is at three. Lunalite Tiger. Okay. Redox, Dragon Ruler of Baldur. Redox is at three. Okay, so all the Dragon Rulers. Rescue Ace, Airlifter. Airlifter, oh, race. That's crazy. Wait. Tempest, Dragon Ruler of Storm. Okay, it's weird that they do all the Dragon Rulers together, but whatever. Tidal, Dragon Ruler of Waterfall. Tidal's at three, cool, cool, cool. Thunder Dragon Colossus. Okay, I mean, Colossus was already at two. It didn't matter. Eeb, the World Chalice just this year. Okay, that was at one. And finally, opening of the Spirit Gates. Oh, opening is back at three. Okay. <laughs> they just put it to one last list. By the way, big shout out. Okay, you guys are going to see it here. Big shout out to Triff, bro. I want to give a big shout out to Steven for winning the YCS. Um, I know they kind of just jumped right into this if you guys are watching it. But uh, this is actually pretty good. Okay, so first things first, opening of the Spirit Gates is kind of cool back at three because it was a weird All right, to begin all right, with. drum, that was a lot. But it looks like Come it's going semi-limited. You were right about that. What's coming next? Next up is the semi-limited. Semi-limited, okay. Fewer of these. Okay, let's see what happens here. All right, here we go. Semi-limited. Okay. Cyberjar. Okay. <laughs> Danger. Gekalope. Oh, okay. Danger. Suchinoko. That's okay. The dangers are coming back. Ava. Ava, okay. And finally, perform a pal monkey board. Monkey board is back at two. Let's go, me. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is very interesting because it doesn't feel like anything necessarily meta relevant is happening right now. The unlimited section is cool. Pank being at three, the, the dragon rulers being at three, that's cool. Uh, Thunder and Colossus. Uh, Jackalope and Suchinoko. I feel like there's a lot of fun things you can do with this. Um, especially with Dark World, especially with... There's so many different decks that can play the Danger card. So, Jack Open, Sides, Shinoko. All right, Jerome, that's limited. a so now limits. this and the ban list is What's where next? I actually think... Are we ready for some limits? Yeah, this is where I actually think we're going to see some meta relevancy over here, okay? All right, I got some limits. All right, limits. Let's start with... Oh! Tenpai Dragon Chundra. Chundra's out one, baby! Tenpai is dead! We're, we're not playing no more Tenpai, baby. Chundra is out one. Okay, okay. Everyone is Apologies so excited. Runner -up. What? What? Next up is... Oh. Okay. Phantom of You Bell. Phantom is out one. Okay. So they can't just double Phantom anymore. That was one of the most toxic things. The fact that they could go double Phantom. One Phantom, one Chandra. Tenpai is dead. You Bell's not dead, though. Apologies to our runner-up once again, but... Sangha Kaiman. Kaiman? Kaiman and Chandra are at one? Yeah, Tenpai's not playable. Tenpai's dead. Not playable. Sorry. Sorry, Tenpai players. I used to be one of them. And finally, one card is also going from forbidden to limited. Oh? It is... Zodiac... Dryden. Barrage. Barrage! Well, there's one. we don't have Dryden, though. Can you play... No. Not with one. Can you play Zoo? Rise you? But no, it doesn't work. With one Barrage, I don't think it's good enough. With one barrage, I don't think it's good enough. I, I'm gonna have to look into this, because if you have a rank four extender, rank all four right, drum, you got right? the crowd electric. But no drive is limits. interesting. I think there's one thing left. The Let's not section. keep the people waiting. There is, and I got them right here. The right, cards the that section. are now forbidden in the advanced format. All right, let's see what's banned. Let's find out what's banned here. They are. What are they? Gimmick puppet nightmare. Oh. Okay, whatever, bro, whatever. Sure, I mean, thank God it's gone, but whatever. People weren't playing Brandon anyway. Can we just see Flambert? Jalgen, the spiritualist. 
Zhao getting banned? Okay. Okay. And oh. finally. Finally, Flambridge. Original. Original. Spoiled Snake Eye. I like that. I like that. Original. Okay. It's okay. It sucks because original was the best card essentially for rescue ace and for fire king without original and that it makes is the new forbidden and limited card weaker. list update that, so list that is, is, that is the most recent balance i'm gonna mute them here guys i'm gonna talk to you guys for a little bit so that is a very very interesting you guys can see the chat's going off here um trash is a comment i see bro what that said question mark this was a very interesting demo, so I, I'm gonna I'm just wait to see if they pop it up on screen to talk about it, about it more. If not, then I'll just go back to me, but I, this is an interesting demo. So the unlimited and the semi-limited sections were very much just getting things off the bandwidth that no longer needed to be there. Okay, I think they're just gonna talk about it now, so let's go back to me. So yeah, the, 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 the band section and the limited section, that's where I think... I feel like that's where the most criticism is gonna come. Don't get me wrong, I actually really like this new format of post-YCS they're gonna be doing this. Um, I think that's a really good idea. I hope, hopefully my stuff's clear. By the way, I'm doing this raw live, okay? So, here's my thing. Here's my thing, right? So, my thing is this. Semi-limited and unlimited was just, the balance is too big. These cards are not relevant. Get them out of the balance, right? Jackalope and Suchinoko could be funny. Monkey Board could also be funny. But Jackalope and Suchinoko could be funny. Other than that, I'm not too worried too much about the uh, unlimited and semi-limited. The limited and the banned section is what we got to talk about. So, Jaogin being banned is... It's kind of interesting, if I'm being honest with you. I'm not sure what was playing Jaugen right now to get banned. Um, and then, uh, and then uh, Original Simple Soil, of course, was a big one. What was the last one off the top of my head? It was, it was Original. I can't even think. But Original is the one that I actually want to talk about. Because Original being banned means that Diabella Star, the, the Witch, I mean, can't just get you into any level one. Which I think makes the Fire King decks a lot weaker. Um, and, uh, the only thing I will say though, is I think that means the Azamina package is going to be a lot more prevalent. Now you don't necessarily have access also to the snake eye stuff. So you're losing access. If you're playing rescue ace, you're losing access to Hydra. If you're playing, um, what's the other deck? Fire King, you're losing access to Ponyx. And then if you are playing regular, just snake eye, you're losing access to any of your other ones. Right. Um, which is really good. Original is really good as a being, being banned. I would say, I think that's the best one to ban. I think it was the most powerful card in the deck. That being said, though, it doesn't mean that fire is dead. And I'm going to be honest, it's going to sound like fire is dead. I don't actually think fire is going to be dead. They still have Flamberge, which means that they can still send Flamberge, get extra bodies on board. Um, they also still have cards like uh, the Deception, the Azamina package. The Azamina package, of course, is going to make it so that they're always going to be able to set up an Omni Negate. Um, so, because you don't have to set original Simpsons spoiler, right? Like a lot of the time you would set original Simpsons spoiler, but now people will just pivot to setting Deception all the time which is going to get you that Omni. So, I don't know. Fire is not dead. I'm going to be honest. We still have three bonfire. Um, I feel like there's a lot more that should have been addressed in this in this ban list that wasn't. Uh, you bell Phantom at one, I don't think is good enough. Uh, Unchained is going to be... Sorry, I have hair in my face. Unchained is going to be um, still really good into Ryzeal. The Fiendsmith package has not been touched at all. Moon is still illegal. Like, Moon still being illegal is kind of lame. If I'm being honest with you, it means anyone can kind of go into a Fiendsmith engine. So... I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this ban list, because I'm, I'm thinking about the meta right now, right? So, I foresee Ryzeo and Malice still being good. I mean, Shifter is still at 3, so Malice is still going to be good. Um, but, yeah, like, I'm going to see... Oh, by the way, did they even say when this is going to be live? Like, when does this ban list go live? Maybe I wasn't paying attention. I don't even know when this ban list goes live. But, here's the thing. Ryzeo and Malice are going to be relevant. Um, Snake Eye, like, some kind of Fire variant still could be relevant. I'm not saying it's going to be for sure, but it still very much could be relevant. Just because they still have Flambers, Promethean Princess, um, and all the really powerful fire cards. They have the Azamina package as well. That's really strong. I don't know. Unchained. I think that Fiend Pile decks with Moon still being legal. I think those Fiend Pile decks are still going to be really good. Ubel with one Phantom is still going to be good. I have no doubt that Ubel is going to be good even with just one Phantom. I mean, it definitely does hurt the deck. But, I mean, they have opening of the Spirit Gates back at three. So, now they have more consistency. Which, I guess they never lack consistency to begin with. Um, Unchained also really has a good matchup into Ryzeo, funny enough, because you don't want to really pop all of their cards. Um, I guess you could go Dweller anyway, but still, right? Um, trying to think, what else does this, what other implications does this have in the meta? I mean, some of the other meta decks are the Tier 2, Tier 1.5 decks, like Centurion, all those are untouched, so that's good. So those, those decks are still very playable. If you're not playing, what, if you're not playing Ubel, Fire, Ryzeo, Malice, like, you can still play Centurion to be successful. You can still play, Kashira Fiendsmith is still full power, by the way. 
one of the best decks in this game, literally performed really well at this event. I don't think, obviously, we saw the top four. I don't think, I think it was mostly Ryzeal and then Tenpai. Um, even the top eight, right? But Fiend Smith Castra, I know Joshua Schmidt went top 16 with that. So that's definitely a thing. Um, it's interesting. It's interesting. But we have four months of another format now that I don't think changes the actual format too much. Maybe Fire makes its, creeps its way out because the original is gone. But I think Fire is still playable. Maybe it's not as good. Yubel is going to slowly make its way out. But not really. Like, one Phantom, but three openings. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I really don't have much to say, like, in terms of what I think the meta is actually going to go to. I think there's a lot of potential for the meta to change. But at the same time, I think that there is potential also for the meta not to change that much, right? Um, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section. I, I, I don't have much to say. But that being said, I'm going to be the first person on YouTube to post this video. So I'm going to end the recording now. Thank you guys all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I got to get this posted ASAP. I appreciate every single one of you with that. Stay going. I don't know. Peace.